like to call the meeting to order. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance in a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Would I entertain a motion and a second to approve the agenda? Second. All those in favor? Would I entertain a motion for the approval of the minutes of August 16, 2022 tax rate and budget hearing? So moved. All those in favor? And I'll entertain a motion and a second to approve the minutes of the August 16, 2022 regular board meeting. So moved. All those in favor? Thank you. Communications, our Heartland Hero and Feature Teacher Award be presented by Mr. Dustin Jinkerson, Principal for Middle School. Good evening. So I have um, here with me Mrs. Madison McKinley. She is our Farmington Middle School Teacher of the Year. Uh, Madison has been teaching uh, for five years, three at the middle school. She teaches seventh grade pre-algebra. She has a bachelor's um, in education uh, with an emphasis in math from Westminster. And she's a master's in educational technology from Lindenwood. So throughout the process of whenever you select, each building selects their um, teacher of the year, it's basically a process where they get, you gather information from their peers and from the students. So everything that I am going to read to you today was said by her colleagues and or by students that she has had in class. Okay? When educators believe that they have an impact, they cr create a self-fulfilled prophecy, meaning that simply because they believe they can make a difference, they do make a difference. Madison's priorities are not self-centered, and Madison understands the importance of unity. She values the input of others. For the greatest of educators, they beg, borrow, and steal from one another. Madison routinely meets with her department to discuss data, collect, collect information from pretests, CFAs, and post-tests. Within these meetings, Madison and her colleagues discuss teaching strategies that are implemented to increase student success. Like the old saying used to be, those who can do and those who can't teach. To educate simply means to teach. Madison does not view education merely as a career, but as a calling. This entails staying after school throughout the week for tutoring, sacrificing her lunch, as well as her playing time for the needs of the students, and her students are clearly a priority for her. One student commented that she is nice and that she helps her students, while another noted that she is a good teacher. She is not rude or anything. She doesn't yell at us. She is kind and really helpful. It's interesting to us to consider that none of the students commented on her knowledge of math, although we all know that her, she has the ability to do that job. She is a good teacher, but she understands the importance of what we call Maslow before Blooms. Her students may not remember the quadratic equation, the slope, formulas, or the value of X, Y, and Z, although we hope they do, and so does Mrs. Sullivan for our assessments. Um, but they will remember the effort, the compassion, and the care that was taken on Madison's part. They will remember the times that they struggled and the empathy that was shown to them. They will remember her transparency, that she was not perfect either. They will remember how she reacted and listened without judgment in their troubles. They will remember that she cared. For many students and people in, a gen in general, that is all that they long for. There is something known as decision fatigue. It is estimated that teachers make about 1,500 decisions per day. We are thankful that Madison made the decision to become a teacher, and we are extremely proud that she is our Farmington Middle School Teacher of the Year. Okay, we're gonna get this right here. We're gonna turn it around right here. Right here. Okay, all right. Eric, come on if you can. We are on. Yeah, thanks. Sit off.
as Mr. Wisdom makes his way up here, he was worried he was going to have to give a speech. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, as we start the 22-23 school year off, the middle school always gets to kick off the first Heartland Hero Award. Uh, many of you are familiar with this award, but some may not be, so let me take a minute to explain what the Heartland Hero is and why we consider it a great honor to recognize the individuals or organizations who receive it. Heartland Heroes are inspiring individuals, organizations, or businesses who, through their selflessness, strength, and self-sacrifice, have been agents of change, positively benefiting others and the Farmington R7 School District. It is really anyone in our area who has stepped up and gone above and beyond in support of a specific campus. We all see people in our school community who have gone above and beyond, a community member or parent who promotes positive school culture and climate. They are often unsung heroes who lead quietly from behind. Many times, community, many times, community or Heartland heroes go unnoticed and are unrecognized. It is an intentional and purpose avenue of recognizing community members to highlight their unique contributions to this district or campus. The Heartland Hero Award was created by our district almost 20 years ago. So let me talk to you about Mr. Wisdom. We would like to recognize Mr. Derek Wisdom as our 2022-23 Heartland Hero. Mr. Wisdom, a volunteer mentor for YFC, or Young Faith in Christ. YFC provides mentoring for students who need a positive role model in their lives, someone to listen to and someone to know that they are cared for. Mr. Wisdom meets with students at school one time a week for 30 to 45 minutes. That might not seem like a long time, but for the students that they get to spend time with him, it means the world to them and they look forward for the time that they get to see him. Mr. Wisdom is not a miracle worker or a licensed counselor. He is just someone who knows that kids need a positive role model in their life, and he understands the difficult times that many of our students can be going through. Someone once said, what is a legacy? It's planting seeds in a garden that you may never get to see grow. Mr. Wisdom plants seeds in the lives of our students who one day will be in our community. He may never get to see the product of that seed, but we are grateful that he is planting them in the hopes of one day that it will make an impact. Thank you, Mr. Wisdom, for, for investing in our students and the future of our community. Farmington Middle School is grateful for your service, and thank you for being our Heartland Hero. Congratulations. Thank you very much. to the informational items in your packet. Discussion action items. I entertain a motion and a second for uh, to approve the consensual agenda. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Opposed? Thank you. This time I would entertain a motion and a second to adjourn to closed session. Make a motion to adjourn to closed session to discuss personnel pursuant to 610.021, paragraphs 1, 2, 3, 13, and 14. Freeman? Yes. Pine? Yes. Hay? Yes. Watson? Yes. Noble? Yes. Yes. Thank you, folks. Have a great evening. Thank you.